Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jim and I do a segment on this channel called the Saturday Morning Circus where I review clown horror movies. And uh, for a short time, these reviews uh, went off to the clown character that I do, Cracky the Clown. And what I thought I would do was take the 12 um, clown movie reviews I did on that channel and bring them over here so once a month the last saturday of each month for 2024 i'm going to replay um <clears throat> using this intro each time sorry uh you're gonna replay one of the clown movie reviews i did as crack the clown so here's the first one and hope you enjoy it leave some comments down below and clowns live forever I'm just trying to make people laugh. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday Morning Circus. Uh, today I'm doing a movie from 2019. Probably a lot of you guys were uh, just getting in out of high school. This movie's called Aliens, Clowns, and Geeks. Uh, I remember being a geek when I was a kid. Now I'm just a clown. Maybe I'm an alien, too. That's That would be so totally weird, right? Uh... Yeah. So this is an hour and 30 minutes. <coughs> and this this movie is very, very weird. It's got a lot of good people in it. Uh, it was written and directed by a guy named Richard Elfman. And I bet you a lot of his friends call him Dick. Because uh, being uh, the name Dick is short for Richard. I had a stepfather once. His name was Richard. And uh, yeah, we all called him Dick. Uh, so let me tell you some of the people that were in this movie. You, do you remember French Stewart? Uh, he played like the drug addict, uh, on a, on a TV show. And it was, um, he was a drug addict, he kid. And, uh, it, it was, uh, it was a couple years ago, but French Stewart's in this and you'll recognize him. And you remember George Went from Cheers? He was the guy at the end of the bar. He was always drunk and like, avoiding his mom. Or, I mean, his wife. That was Freudian, huh? Uh, there's a guy named Jumbo, played by Steve McGee. Nick Novicki plays Fritz. Remember Vern Troyer from from Austin Powers? The little mini-me. Vern Troyer's in this. And uh, there's another guy. It looks just like a Martin Clava. Uh, he plays the clown captain. He's a, I think he's an alien. And Richard Elfman plays clown Bippy. And Richard Elfman... He's the guy we were just talking about before. We call him Dick. And he was the writer and the director. So this movie is really all over the place. Uh, it's on Tubi. Big surprise. Because I'm always talking about Tubi. Because I like going there and just watching some clown movies. So this is about an out-of-work actor who stumbles upon the key to the universe. And he's drawn into this intergalactic war between clowns and aliens. I think he's supposed to represent the geeks. But he's a geek who gets a lot of poontang. And uh, he, he's, he's pretty popular with the ladies. Uh, so there's a biker clown that reminded me of my Uncle Bruce, who would uh, take me for rides on uh, his motorcycle. But I wasn't supposed to tell anybody about it. So, uh, yeah, that's awkward. Uh, and then there was this one scene in a car where this girl fell into this other guy's lap and her head kept bouncing and I didn't understand what was going on but he seemed to be enjoying it but he should have been paying more attention to the road. Uh, there there was also this one scene where a lady was shooting ping pong balls out of somewhere down south. Uh, I, I don't think you're supposed to have ping pong balls down there but she was like going for a world record, she was shooting those things like in front of a bunch of guys. I think she was at a bachelorette party or wait, wait, a bachelor party or something. But there were these two twins that were like naked for the whole movie. I think they were Swedish or Norwegian or they're foreigners, but they were pretty attractive. They they were always naked. But uh, I don't want to tell you too much about the story because. Uh, there was so much stuff going on. I, I got a little distracted a few times, but it was a good movie. 
and uh, there was lots of nudity. There were midget clowns in this. There was like alien clowns, but not the killer clown kind of aliens. They they looked more like regular clowns. Uh, there was a mariachi band in this too, like a funky mariachi band. And uh, it, they they played music a couple times in there because they went to this bar, and and the bar owner was like this really really tall lady with a deep voice. Uh, she had really hairy arms, and she kind of she she was a pretty big lady. But I, and I'm not sure "lady" is the right word to use for her, but she she uh, owned a bar and had a mariachi band, so it can't be all bad, right? Uh, and that was really fun end credits, so. I think you guys are going to really like this movie. Um, I'm, I'm going to give it like four bogglings because I really had a lot of fun. And you're going to automatically get a high score for me if you've got like midget clowns and, and naked girls. I mean, and one was shooting. Did I mention the ping pong balls? Because that was really freaky. I, I'm going to have to do some more research on the on the interweb and to see if I can find more information about ping pong balls coming out of uh, lady parts and uh, well, leave me a comment in the the comment section down below and let me know if you're interested in this movie called Aliens, Clowns, and Geeks. It's from 2019. I really think you're gonna like it. Row 18, plot 20. <laughs> Thank you.